we've advertised um, and the, oh, I think we made a big mistake. We used this number of projects to lead the people. Uh, I come with a deep prejudice in favour of mathematics. My father got a first-class degree in maths at Cambridge University, and he said throughout his life, mathematics was a thing which had massively helped him in all his dealings with everybody. That was particularly true in the civil service, where he became a permanent secretary, where his experience of the Mandarin grades was there were very few of them had any basic grasp of numbers, uh, so let alone the wider concepts of mathematics. And so it was drilled into me at a very uh, young age that mathematics was the thing to do, which in fact is what I did. I went to university to study maths myself, then changing to economics. And I've always believed it's a fantastically important subject. Of course, mathematics is essential for science, but it's also essential for just about every other discipline, every other form of human thought, whether you're talking about philosophy or whether you're talking about all the social sciences in whatever way. And the main message that I want to convey today is to have the self-confidence to make the case for mathematics itself in its own terms as a means of understanding and looking at the world and of equipping everybody, and I do mean everybody, to have that weapon to be able to make sense of the world in which we live and to understand it. It is a, a tremendously important discipline. It is at the core of everything we uh, see around us or every part of our life and it has to be supported and encouraged in every way that it can. Sometimes divisions get into the process, divisions between people who are focusing on high quality research level mathematics at the very highest level and basic numeracy for children who otherwise don't have very good mathematical qualifications. I want to make the case, and I think this organisation this afternoon makes the case, that there's no contradiction between all of these things, that we have to stand up at all levels for getting more mathematics into the way we live and work and more mathematics in the way that we educate and carry it forward, whether it is more maths grads, uh, more students in mathematics coming out, more maths teachers, more maths uh, qualifications, whatever it might be. These are not things in contradiction. They're things which require making the case for mathematics in all its different ways. So I'm absolutely honoured to have been asked to host this today. I'm delighted that you've done so. And it's a real uh, pleasure to me to be able to associate myself with it. Anything I can do to help, I'm keen to. And I congratulate all of you who've brought this together, and I wish you all the best in promoting the case for mathematics to take it forward and strengthen it in the best possible way. What more mass grads has done has, has, has been very good in, in trying to make links between more mass grads on the one hand and actually mathematics more generally. We're now funding, as people will be aware, uh, a, an extension project which links together uh, all of the STEM subjects into the national STEM programme, which has just recently started. And that's got another dimension to it, which I think is also very important. We'll make the link between mathematics, the other sciences, employment opportunities, both for people in schools coming through the system, but also for people in work. Because one of the things that I think is critically important is that we must not forget that we have a generation of people who are not uh, numerate, who resisted mathematics. We've had a period over the last few years, until recently, when the numbers of people studying mathematics was declining quite dramatically. We need to make sure that those people also have access to the kind of numeracy skills which they need. The, the More Maths Grads project has been a really good foundation for the work that we are now planning to do, just as maths is an important and critical foundation for all of the other sciences. The, the vital importance of having more maths grads is that they provide the seed corn and they provide the catalyst, they provide the fertiliser, whatever language you want to use for the development of a much more scientifically based numerate society and that's what we want to achieve. I wish you uh, 
Firstly, I wish to congratulate you for everything that you've achieved. Then I wish to, uh, want to wish you every success for the future as you move through into becoming part of the National STEM programme. Good luck to you all. It's very fitting that Charles should be hosting, uh, sponsoring this evening, because actually more math grads can trace its roots back to a letter that Charles wrote when he was Secretary of State uh, to HEFSI asking for advice on how to protect strategically important and vulnerable subjects. And it's out of that, uh, that letter that Hef HEFSI's response was to fund more math grads and the projects uh, in engineering, in chemistry and physics that you'll see represented round the room. <coughs> And the four projects are now rolling together into the STEM agenda. Now, I think it's particularly important, we're, we're used to seeing STEM written horizontally. But for the purpose of this, I've written it vertically, because as we've heard, uh, the whole of STEM rests on mathematics. We, we can't do STEM properly if we don't do mathematics properly. In the, in the late 90s, uh, there was some research done school kids were asked what they thought of mathematicians. And this is a picture that one of the school kids drew when they were asked to say, what's a mathematician like? <laughs> there, there was a problem, and th this is genuine research that was carried out. This is what children thought of, of math mathematicians. There was also what children thought of mathematics. And the sorts of words that came up were words like these, hard, boring, irrelevant. And what more math grads has tried to do is try to put the lie to each of those three. So we've tried to show in our direct work with kids, in the resources we've produced, that mathematics isn't that hard. It can be challenging. It isn't necessarily easy, but it, it can be challenging, but it's certainly worthwhile. It's, if it's done in the right way, it is not boring. It is incredibly stimulating. And it is certainly not irrelevant. It is very, very applicable. Of all the subjects uh, that, that students study at school, it is by far the most applicable. What we focused on is careers, careers, careers. One of the things that we, we really identified coming up to us from the community was a lack of knowledge of what maths is for. What do I do? Please, sir, what do I do if I get a maths degree? And many teachers said to us, all they could say was, well, you can become an accountant or a school teacher. And so what we've tried to do with, with more maths grads is actually expand kids' horizons and show them that, yes, worthwhile professions though they are, accountants and school teachers are not the only things that you can do with a maths degree. If you want to uh, design the O2 arena, you need to be a mathematician. If you want to design a Formula One racing car, you need to be a mathematician. If you want to do the, the latest generation of mobile technology, you need a mathematician. This has been at the heart of it, to show where mathematics will take you.